More voters cast ballots yesterday in Travis County than in the past three general elections. That heavy turnout has the Austin School District making another push to get support for Proposition A. If voters approve Proposition A, the tax hike would generate $41 million. 17 million of that would cover the cost of giving teachers and librarians pay raises. For us to ensure that we have the absolute best educators in front of our students, we have to be competitive at pay. Today, Superintendent Matias Segura laid out how much money that will take. For entry-level teachers, the average pay increase would be 1.4%. Raises go up with experience, with the largest pay hikes going to educators with 16 to 25 years in the classroom. The average increase for veteran teachers tops out at 7.3%. This compensation package really intends to increase the slope and, and allow those educators who have been with us for so many years to stay with Austin ISD. Austin ISD says passage of Prop A would keep teachers and librarians from jumping ship and going to other Central Texas school districts to get a raise. This package is going to uh, put us on market with our surrounding districts so that we remain, um, if not on market, even leaving market. Opponents of Prop A say too little of the money generated by the tax increase would stay in Austin. The majority would be subject to recapture, also known as the Robin Hood program. Set up by the state, Robin Hood sends excess revenue from property wealthy districts to those with lower property values. But the superintendent says the focus needs to be on what happens to teacher pay raises if Prop A fails. Well, there won't be any. Um, I think that's something we made very, very clear. If Proposition A passes, more than 85% of the people who work for the Austin School District will get raises. The 15% who won't are administrators who don't have that day-to-day -day contact with students. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.